Park, the home of Wigan Rugby League Football Club. The new crown champion of the first division for this top eight playoff. Their opponents today, Featherstone Rovers. And Featherstone Rovers is coming out onto the field. Number one, Chris Bibb. Number two, Ikram Butts. Three, Terry Manning. Four, Ian Smales. Five, Owen Simpson. Six, Paul Newlove. Seven, Derek Fox. Eight is John Bastian. Nine is Trevor Clark. Ten is Leo Casey. Eleven is Chris Burton. Twelve, Claddy Eaty. Thirteen, Brendan Tota. Substitutes 14, Tim Sharp. And 15, Andy Fisher. The Wigan team just coming onto the field. Number one, Sean Tyre. Number two, David Myers. Three is Kevin Iro. Four is Paul Gartland. Five is Mark Preston. Six, Philip Clark. Seven is Bobby Golding. And the forwards are eight, Graham West. Nine, Gus O'Donnell. Number ten, Jed Stassinger. Number 11, Ian Gildard. Twelve is Mark Forshaw. Thirteen, Andy Goodway. And substitutes are 14, Steve Blakely. And 15, Dennis Betts. Your referee for today is our experience of referees, of all referees, I think anyway in the Rubber League, is Mr Robin Whitfield from Widnes. So this top eight championship playoff. Both sides wanting to win today's game, to play in the semi-finals and obviously a trip to Old Trafford for the Premiership finals. Which I can honestly say I've been to Wembley on two or three occasions. I've been to Old Trafford since the first start of these premierships at Old Trafford and uh, I will say this, that uh, a lot of supporters might not agree with me on this count but I think that Old Trafford is really on a par with going to Wembley the atmosphere for the family and for the teams to get there is absolutely unbelievable so Featherstone Rovers brought a lot of fans with them over the Pennines for today's match here at Wigan after that fantastic win at Bradford last season, uh, last uh, week, I should say, uh, Peter Fox's men really on an eye. The confidence was unbelievable on the team coach coming over the Pennines this afternoon. All the lads laughing and joking, so let's be able to can put that on the field this afternoon on the paddock, as they say. <laughs> so here we are, the scene's all set, Bobby Golding. The kick telling me he was reserve here at Wigan, but he's was the current Great Britain scrum half when they went to New Zealand and Papua New Guinea. I'm sure that Bobby Golding could walk into any other team in the rubble league when he kicks the ball straight there. It is uh, opposite number there and rival for that Great Britain spot, Derek Fox. Ian Smells taking that uh, ball there, being tackled there by number 11 there, Ian Gildard. And forward pass. That's Featherson's downfall in the last few weeks. Closing possession in the net side, their own 25 yard area. Featherson over slow to start this game of. So it'll be Bobby Golding to feed the scrum. It's out to Wigan. Clark there now to. Good way, good way there, getting out of Brendan Tota's tackle. So good way being tackled there about. 20 yards short, so O'Donnell with the ball now there to Graham West. Graham West there being tackled there by Chris Burton. Wing camped inside that Featherstone Rovers 25 yard line. First minute of this match. So it's Statica there with, with the egg gear on, trying to run it in. Got pressure by Wigan. Golden with the ball now there to Philip Clark there to Golden. Golden there trying to bring these players onto the ball, but it's a marvellous break there. Marvellous break there by number four, Paul Gartland, putting Kerry and Iro in for the first try. Wigan four, Featherstone Rovers nil. Well, once again, Featherstone Rovers there, their own downfall there, losing that ball on the second tackle inside their own 25-yard area. That pass there went to Brendan Tota, judged to be forward, and referee Mr Whitfield there, rightly so, good positioning by the referee. From the scrum there, we can work the left-hand side. Then they throw the ball out this side there, and Paul Gartland mid the brick. Playing in the number four shirt for Wigan, and it was there, backing him up there, Kevin Iro there. All that, so I pass the ball to Kevin Iro. And Kevin Idol there, his size and his strength, took him over that try line to register the first try this afternoon, going to Wigan. Wigan 4, Featherston Rovers 0. With a conversion to come from uh, Sean Tyder. 
Well, Sean Tyler's taking his time over this one. He hopes he doesn't uh, get a lot of goal kicks at the post today because uh, I must say that I've seen this lad on a few occasions and he's very, very slow indeed. He tries to make uh, sure, but the ball did just going wide. So the score remains Wigan 4, Featherston Rovers nil. Oh, Derek Fox getting this game started. Gets that ball there to Bobby Golding. Bobby Golding there. Gives it to number 11 there. Ian Gildard. Ian Gildard. Tackle there by Cladiati. About 15 yards short of his own 25 yard line. And Wigan there trying to find uh, gaps in this Feathers and Rovers defence. But Rovers are uh, used to being in these positions in these matches, giving early points away in the early part of the match. That's something that Peter Fox must tell his players to tighten up on. So it's Jet Stassinger there trying to run it out. Big number 10 there with the egg gear on. Referee is telling him there to get up to play the ball. Brendan Tota there and underneath him makes the tackle. Big number 12 there, Mike Forshaw. Trying to make that halfway line, but John Bastian there in his way makes the tackle. Oh, that's a bad mistake by Wigan there. Two or three players, oh, that's a bad mistake. Wigan losing that ball. But I'm sure that that'll be a first knock on. Referee right on there, but Derek Fox to feed the scrum. The first defence there, Wigan knocking on first. So the ball's in, it's hard to feather snow as referee says no. Scrum down again. So the ball's in, it's hard to feather snow as Derek Fox to the ball now. They're to Pornula, Pornula, they're trying to take Philip Clark on. Well, Philip Clark there gets the, makes the tackle there on Pornhill. That's the first tackle. Ian Smell stand off half now. Ian Smell's there now to Brendan Tota testing this defence out. Well, that's good tackling by Mike Forshaw. So it's Trevor Clark now there to John Bastian. John Bastian trying to bring it towards them posts. That's good tackling there by number 12, Mike Forshaw. Yet again now, Stuart Fox with the ball now there to Leo Casey. But that was a good art tackle, that. Jet Stassinger there straight round the boat laces there on Leo Casey. So it's Derek Fox now there to... Terry Manning there, Terry Manning there, trying to look for this for, to, for supporters outside him. Now it's Trevor Clark with the ball now. Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there having to come back inside now. The, the Brendan Tota, Brendan Tota there. That little kick over the boot, but the ball going dead. So it'll be a tap out for Wigan on inside that 25-yard line. And number nine there, Augustin O'Donnell, as they call him Ducky here at uh, Wigan. Taps that ball quickly. Now it's Graham West with the ball now. A big favourite here at Wigan. Graham West there, but his opposite number there, John Bastian making the tackle on him. So it's all done with the ball now. There to Stasinger. Stasinger there being met there by Brendan Tota and Derek Fox. And Brendan Tota there dragging him back. So Wigan in possession, still leading by four parts to nil. Philip Clark with the ball now there to Andy Goodway. Andy Goodway there, but being wrapped up there by Clarity. That's good tackling that by Clarity. Pushing Wigan back. Number nine there, O'Donnell with the ball now from Acting Harpak. Trying to get that ball up. But Clarity making the tackle there on Ian Gildard. About 10 yards short of the halfway line. Now it's Bobby Golden with the ball there, kicking that ball deep down in that side, that feather's not half of the field. And what a kick that by Bobby Golden. Oh, that's magic, is that? That kick going a fully 50 or 60 yard there. Good touch finder there by Bobby Golden. It's still Wigan 4, Feathers from Rovers 0. But Derek Fox to feed the scrum. So the ball's in its hat to Rovers. Derek Fox there now to Pornola. Pornola there trying to go between. His centre there. His wingman number four, Paul Gartland there. And Philip Clark there making the tackle. Now it's Tre Terry Manning with the ball now. Terry Manning there. Being pushed back. Kevin Idle there making the tackle. Wigan moving up very quickly indeed. Now it's Clarieter with the ball there. Clarieter there being tackled there by Kevin Iroh once again. So Ian Smells with the ball now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox now there to Chris Burton. Well, Chris Burton there tackled still Featherson inside their own 25 yard area. So Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now there to Brendan Tota. Brendan Tota there to, to Ikram but now there to Chris Pip. Chris Pip there turning back inside. Chris Pip still going. Featherson Rovers throwing this ball about inside their own 
25 yard area and there Brendan Tolter there finding a gut touch kick halfway between the Wigan 25 yard line and the halfway line there'll be another scrum down it'll be Bobby Golding to feed the scrum it's still Wigan 4 Featherson Rovers 0 just short of 10 minutes play gone in this first half we can get that ball. Philip Clark with the ball now there to Sean Tyler. Sean to Mark Preston. Mark Preston coming down the field. Mark Preston in on a flyer. Mark Preston, he's got pace. Can Chris Bibb get him? And Chris Bibb there gets across there to make the tackle. That's marvellous tackling that by Chris Bibb. Oh, they keep telling me that Mark Preston's got pace there, but Chris Bibb got back there. But marvellous little move that by Wigan that from the base of the scrum. Mike Preston there really showing his paces. But Chris Bibb there getting back to make the tackle, just try saving tackle in that corner. Philip Clark with the ball now there, Wigan really throwing this ball about. Number 12 there, Mike Forshaw being tackled. That's good tackling by Rovers. So it's Graham West with the ball now, Graham West there being met that be there by Chris Burton there and Brendan Tolter. Wigan really putting pressure on this Featherson Rovers defence. They're still leading by four points to nil. And it's O'Donnell now from acting up out there to Bobby Golding. Bobby Golding now, that little dummy. Bobby Golding there trying to go solo. But Leo Casey there making the tackle. All pressure now on this Featherson Rovers defence. O'Donnell with the ball now. O'Donnell, that little drop goal attempt. It's all on us picking that ball for Rovers. Chris Bibb there getting back, picks the loose ball up. So John Bastian there having to run it out of his own 25 yard area. The number two there, David Myers making the tackle off his wing. So Leo Casey with the ball now, Leo Casey there. Trying to get that short, sharp pass out, which is accustomed to, but too many Wigan players around in that time. Now it's Chris Burton's turn. Trying to meet up to his own 25-yard area, but this has got tackling by Wigan. Keeping Rovers pinned down in their own 25-yard area. Now it's Derrick Fox with the ball now. Derrick Fox now there to Pornell. Pornell turning back inside there, getting that one-hand pass out there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox now there to Brendan Tolter. Brendan Tolter looking for... Looking for gaps in this wing defence, but this is good wing tackling. Brendan Tolter there trying to get up to play the ball. To Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark now there to Derrick Fox, Derrick Fox, that big boat downfield. Mark Preston there running back after it. Going to pick the ball up inside his own 25 yard area, which he does. Rovers moving up in numbers. Derrick Fox there trying to get across, make the tackle, but that's good tackle moving up and also by Paul Newell up there. And Ian Smales finally makes the tackle. Now Philip Clark there trying to reach that halfway line, but that's good. Rovers tackling that time. Paul Newell of Ian Smales once again. Now it's Jet Stassinger's turn. But tackle about 15 yards short of that halfway line. Still Wigan leading by four points still in this first half. And Bobby Golding there, that little kick throw. Bobby Golding after that loose ball, but Chris Bibb there. That's good play by Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb out of Bobby Golding's tackle. Chris Bibb there. Met a posse of red and white shirts. But that's good play by the Rovers fullback, Chris Bibb. Bobby Golding there. Quick to see the gap. Now Clarity, Clarity bursting out of tackles. That's good running by the Rovers, number 12 there, Clarity. A forceful run. That's the second tackle. <laughs> there. Tackling Clarity, keeping him down in the tackle. Referee penalise him for holding him down. Penalty kick to Featherson Rovers. So here's a chance for Derek Fox. The Rovers captain here to put two points on the board for Featherson Rovers. He's still wigging for Featherson Rovers nil at this junction of the match. Here we go. Derek Fox, he gets the height, but he hasn't got the direction. Just cuts to the side of the post. So it'll be a drop out for Wigan on, the, on their own 25 yard head. It'll be Bobby Golding to drop the ball out. Here he goes, shows the ball to his teammates. Big drop out. Chris Bibb there takes it first bounce in set on his own 25. So it's Bobby Golding kicking that ball from 125 to the other. And that's good tackling there by number 12, Mike Forshaw. Gets his shoulder behind him. That's hard to tackle in this game of rugby league. Now it's John Bastian. Big driving, but number 11 there, Ian Gill there below. And Graham West on top. Now it's Leo Case with the ball now. They make space there for, there for Brendan Tulter. Brendan Tulter looking for runners outside him. Gives that ball to Ian Smales. He smells there, being wrapped up there by Tony Iro. That's good play that by Leo Casey and Brendan Tote and Ian Smells. Now it's Teddy Manning with the ball now. Teddy Manning there trying to float through the gap. But Jet Stassinger this. 
spotting the danger, made the tackle. Now it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now, they tell you okay, so they okay, so turning that ball back inside. So oh, that's good tackling that by O'Donnell there, making the tackle. Now it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox, that little kick throw. Owen Wigan there, watching Derek Fox like a note this afternoon, them little kicks. And number 12 there, Mike Forshaw, tapped it with his foot there, picked the ball up, and we can get possession. Now it's O'Donnell with the ball there, going from acting half back. That's good play by the wing number nine, plays the ball back. Now it's Andy Goodway there, trying to bring the ball out of defence, but Featherson Rovers got the tackling together better, better since that first try, but that little kick there by Bobby Golden and Derek Fox there saying, thank you, Bobby. That's coming to me, and Derek Fox pushing two tackles out of the way. That's good play by the Rovers, number seven there, Derek Fox. Taking that little kick from Bobby Golding. Now it's Trevor Clark with the ball there. Trevor Clark there trying to reach that wing 25-yard area, but that's good tackling that by Philip Clark. Now that ball there now to Leo Case. Leo Case now to Brendan Toulter. Brendan Toulter now to Owen Simpson. Owen Simpson's got to come back inside. Owen Simpson saw a little gap that time. He shot through it like a bullet out of a gun. But O'Donnell make, making the tackle. Now it's Brendan Toulter there going from acting our pack. Brendan Toulter now there to Ian Smales, but too much. Too little room for Ian Smells there to do anything in that time. Being pushed into touch. About five yards short of that Wigan try line. So it'll be a scrum down. Be Wigan to feed the scrum. It's still Wigan four, Featherson Rovers nil. And Clary Eater there just receiving treatment. Off the Rovers physio there, Dave Sharp. He's not in the pack. Andy Goodway get, get, get there, getting that ball there from the base of the scrum. Running across the face of the goal post that time not making any way at all just looking for gaps in that defence and Ian Smells there wrapping up what makes the tackle so it's Wigan possession that's the second tackle still inside their own 25 yard area just looking at the pitch now Derek Fox uh, doing the bobby and that's playing behind his front line of defenders looking for them little kicks throw from Bobby Golden so it's Ian Geldard with the ball now trying to get out in his own 25 yard area which he does Trevor Clark there, only okay, so making the tackle. Now it's Philip Clark with the ball. Philip Clark, that little dummy that time, and that's good tackling that. Mike Forshaw there, being tackling possession. Ian Smales and Paul Newell making the tackle. So hold on there, back, back there to Sean Tyne. That's Sean, that's the last six and last tackle. So that'll be the changeover. One's just got a feeling in this match, if Featherston always can score that, just get over that first try. I think Featherston always have really got the tails up, they're just... Virtually clawing the way back into this game after that mishap in the first minute of the game. That's that big drive in there by John Bastian. Look out these tackles now. That's the first tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball there. Back inside there to Brendan Toter. But Brendan Toter there being wrapped up there by Mike Forshaw. That's good tackling by the second row forward. Now it's Leo Casey. Leo Casey getting that ball up there now. And that's a marvellous try to Featherston Rovers. You could wish to meet. See better play than that. Unbelievable that try there. Leo Casey there to, I think it was there to Terry Manning and I think it was Brendan Toto what put that ball over that line. Trevor Clark it was who scored the try between the posts but that's marvellous into passing that by Featherston Rovers and I've just said previously about a minute earlier that if Featherston Rovers just could get over that try line there that'll put the confidence up no end. Here we are, Derek Fox with that goal attempt straight between the middle. Wigan four, Featherston Rovers six. But once again, that short, sharp pass there from Leo Casey there causing all the damage. If there's anybody better than Leo or getting them ball, short balls away in the in the tackle, I've yet to see him this season. I've watched nearly every Featherston Rovers match this season. A few junior matches, 18 matches, Lions matches. And Leo Casey, to me, is the best of the lot at getting that short, sharp pass away. Just got to back that man up with the ball. He's here again, Leo Casey now. Trying to come down the middle. That's good running by the Rovers prop forward. Now it's Trevor Clark with the ball. Now they to Derek Fox. Derek Fox now they to Paul Newell. Paul Newell now they to Clarity. Clarity back inside there to Ikram Butt. Ikram Butt there pushing tacklers off there to Paul Newell. Paul Newell sees the gap. Paul Newell going through the gap. Paul Newell there to kick. Tyler on there. Kicking the ball forward. But that ball there. Bouncing dead. 
But once again, Derek Fox just telling Paul Newell of the year, he ought to die with the ball, Paul, and I think Derek was right, rightly so. But once again, that little break there from Claddy Eaty on that right-hand side of the field to Ikram Butt, and Ikram Butt there passing that ball inside to Paul Newell of them. That was vintage Featherston Rovers. Wigan four, Featherston Rovers six. Wigan in possession, throwing this ball out wide. Stasiger with the ball there, but Stasiger there being, being tackled there by them two gladiators there, Brendan Tota and Leo Casey. Now it's O'Donnell with the ball there, and Derek Fox once again back for that ball. That's good play by Derek Fox once again. And number two there, David Myers there, making sure Derek Fox don't run any further with the ball. But once again, Derek Fox positioned himself well. That's good reading of the game by Derek Fox. Now it's Clarity. He'll take the tackles, will Clarity. O'Donnell making the tackle. Clarity plays the ball there now to Ian Smells. Ian Smells there to John Bastian. Once again, uh, Wigan there making the tackle. Jet Stassinger there with his headgear on, and Chris Burton's turn to run. And Chris Burton there losing the ball in the tackle. And referee, sh and referee shouting back to one. Wigan player pinching the ball in the tackle. So Brendan Tota now running it in. Trying to get that ball up there for Derek Fox being tackled now. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now. Trevor Clark there now to number 11, 10, Leo Casey. Feather Snow was really putting pressure on this Wigan defence. About 15 yards short of that Wigan try line. Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox now there to Pornyola. Pornyola looking for gaps in that wing. Pornyola there, so strong. Oh, Pornyola out to tackle, still going. Taking three Wigan plays to bring him down. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now there to John Bastian. John Bastian there. So near yet, so far. Feather Snow was 10 yards from them. Wigan try line, Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox there, gets that ball out there now. Who oh, and there, Chris Pip taking that ball one under, Chris Pip there flying for that corner, as he scored! He scored the try in the corner, Chris Pip! And him, Brendan Tote has got to clap that because there looked no way there that Chris Pip could force his way over that try line. How he got there, there's only Chris Pip will tell you, and I'm sure he'll tell us after the match. But got there he did, that long arm, long pass there. Found Chris Bibby, took it one arm there and just skated round the, the opposition in the corner there to plant Featherston Rovers. Second try of the match, it's Featherston Rovers 10, Wigan 4, with this difficult conversion to come from Derek Fox. So where we are, Derek Fox, this difficult kick just inside the touchline site, strikes the ball. Ooh, and just across the face of the post. So the score remains Wigan 4, Featherston Rovers 10. <laughs> Tries to Trevor Clark to Chris Bibb. Against that Kevin Iroh trying the first minute, putting Featherston Rovers firmly in the driving seat in this match. And Derek Fox taking that awkward bouncing ball there. First pass there once again to Ian Smells. Ian Smells running it in. We're being tackled there by number 12, Mike Forshaw. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Chris Burton. Running it out of his own 25 yard area. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Clarity. Clarity looking for the gaps in the defence, but that's got tackling that by number 10 there, Stasiger. Straight round the ball, they said. Now it's Leo Case with the ball now. Leo Case in again, that ball there to Trevor Clark, but referee there, Mr. Whitfield, saying, Sorry, Leo, not this time. Forward pass. And one thing about I can say about uh, Robin Whitfield, the witness referee. The horse has a chat with the players and he's just set to he just set to Leo Casey. Not this time, Leo. And Leo just laughed at him and scrum formed. So it's Andy Goodway with the ball now for Wigan. Andy Goodway getting that ball back inside there for number four, Paul Gartland. Paul Gartland being tackled halfway between the halfway line and the Feather Snowball's 25 yard line. So it's Graham West with the ball there, trying to run it in. Trying to make headway towards that Feather Snowball's 25 yard area. Well, Brendan Tota there, underneath him, making the tackle. Now it's Bobby Golden trying to run things for Wigan now, trying to get that ball. Oh, and that ball stuck there to Derek Fox's hands. Once again, that's good play, that by Derek Fox. 
Gain in the way from that pass there by Bobby Golding. Now, now it's Leo Casey out there to Chris Byrne. Oh, what a good drive in that by Chris Byrne. Great in 15 yards with that drive. Now it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there. And once again, John Bastian there making 15 yards before the Wigan player come to tackle him. Number 12 there, Mike Forshaw finally made the tackle. Now it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now there to Brent and Derek. Brendan Tolter there knocking that ball on. Derek Fox there. Just trying to create the gap there for Brendan Tolt as a run throw, but just to line that pass, I think that split second too long. So scrum's form, Bobby Golding to feed the scrum. Bobby Golding here, again that ball there now to Philip Clark, Philip Clark there, trying to get that ball there to... So Myers there, Myers there, beating one man, but that's good play, oh, this, and this is Iroh here with the ball, and Kevin Iroh, what a try this to Kevin Iroh. Oh, Philip Clark there, got that ball from the scrumming side. Wiggins half of the field, fed that ball there to number two, David Myers. David Myers getting that ball back inside there, and Kevin Nairo there making short work of, in a way it was poor Featherson Rovers tackling to plant his second try on the ball this afternoon. Featherson Rovers still leaning though by 10 points to eight, but a bit of slack tackling that by Featherson Rovers. Inside, that's Wigan half of the field, creating that moment there, and Kevin Iro there, strong finishing wingman. But take no, nothing off that uh, David, David Myers there, and number six, Philip Clark, who's setting that try up there for Kevin Iro, second try of the match. And Sean Tyler here, trying to convert that try to buy Kevin Iro to bring the scores level at 10 all. At the moment, it's Wigan 8, Featherston Rovers 10. Oh, Sean tied it. This kick to level things up. Takes his time once again, but straight between the middle. Wigan 10, Featherson Rovers 10. Well, once again, a bit... Uh, Slap tackling efforts by Featherston Rovers, allowing Wigan in for that try. Derek Fox kicking that ball and Bobby Golding taking it well. Gets that ball there to Ian Gildard. Ian Gildard being tackled by Leo Casey there, just short of his own 25 yard area. Quick to play the ball that time, so it's Graham West with the ball there. Trying to come down the middle. That's good play by Graham West there to Sean Tyler. And Derek Fox are stopping him and Sean Tyler good, trying to go all the way, looking for support. Trying to get that ball. That ball's bounced forward, but referee will play advantage. But that's good play that by Graham. Graham West there. Graham West there, experience counted that time. So referee rightly so, allowing play to go on. Chris Bibb there, get being tackled there. Knees in his back that time, but he's having treatment on the floor. Referee says play on. Now it's Brendan Tote with the ball. Brendan Tota being tackled, but just short of that halfway line. So it's Trevor Clark now with the ball now. There to Terry Manning, Terry Manning there, taking this defence on. But O'Donnell there. Wigan number nine there, making the tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. There to Chris Burton, Chris Burton there. Being tackled. Stazinger there getting through and a tremendous amount of tackling this in first half for Wigan. Now it's Derek Fox with the ball. Derek Fox looking for this corner flag. David Myers there, ooh, taking the eye ball. Stephen Myers there, showing his pace as his Myers, but Clarieta there, that's good tackling by the Rovers, second roll forward, getting across, lifting him up, dumping him to the ground, that's the first tackle, now it's Philip Clark there, trying to bring the ball out of his own 25 yard area, which he does, John Bastian there, making the tackle, so it's Graham West with the ball now, Graham West, but John Bastian on top, and Leo Casey below, brings him down to the floor, O'Donnell now at so it's, so it's good way with the ball now there to Ian Gildard, but Ian Gildard being wrapped up there, that's good tackling that by John Bastian. But we can now really be begin to feel the feet a little bit now. That's number 12 there with the ball, Mike Forshaw, tackle five yards short at halfway line. Now it's Bobby Golding, that Bobby Golding, that it's all on. That ball touching Chris Burton there. And Owen Simpson picking that loose ball up just short of it, his own try line. we well, being tackled inside his own quarter of the field. Now it's Ian Smells there, trying to bring it out. From acting our pack position, but too many red and white shirts in the way that time for him. Number 11 there, Ian Gildam, making the tackle one of them. Now it's Chris Burton's turn. That's good driving him once again by Chris Burton. Making his own 25-yard area. Now it's Leo Casey. 
The old case again, that ball now there to Clarieti. Clarieti, that long arm ball out there now to Ian Smales. Ian Smales, they try to come down the middle. Looking round for runners, nobody backing up. Plays the ball back. Derek Fox with the ball now there to Parniola. Parniola there trying to look for that gaps in this wing defence, but there's none there. That's good tackling by Wigan. So Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, that big boat downfield. And Mark Preston, that's good positioning there by the wing number five, Mark Preston. We know how well he can run, Mark Preston. He's got to be one to be watched this afternoon. Leo Casey there making the tackle on him. Now it's Stazija with the ball now. Stazija there getting out of one tackle. But Leo Casey there stopping him digging these tracks. Now it's Gildard with the ball there from Graham West Passbutts. Being tackled there just about halfway between the halfway line, the Rovers 25 yard line. Bobby Golding with the ball there and Featherstone Rovers caught offside. I think that's the first offside in the match this afternoon. Falls to Wigan, Feathers Row, and the game is just about half an hour old. So, first substitution for Wigan. So here we go, Sean Tyre. Time to put Wigan in front for the second time in the match. Strikes the ball. Oh, and is it the post? It's all on. Oh, and Dennis Betts there following up behind it. Just couldn't take that ball. That would have been a sensational start for the Wigan substitute, having to come on for Philip Clark. First touch of the ball, scoring a try, but as it was, didn't happen. Did it, Fox, getting that rebound there from that uh, post? So the score still stands there, 10 apiece. Oh, John Bastian there, wanting to get rid of that ball in the tackle. Finally, Dick Clarity, they all getting the rebound. Now it's Chris Burton. Chris Burton doing lots of driving in this first half. It's still Wigan 10, Feathers from Rovers 10. Now it's Trevor Clark with the ball now. Trevor Clark now there to Brendan Tolter. Brendan Tolter there. Nearly through the gap, but number 12 there, Mike Forshaw making the tackle. So it's Dirty Fox with the ball now. Dirty Fox now there to... Hey. So Pornola, Pornola there, looking for his inside in there, getting that ball there to... Number two, Ikram but Bobby Golding going high in that tackle. And we've seen him do that before. Penalty kick to Featherstone Rovers. So did it, Fox, pumping that ball. High into that Wigan stand, just halfway between the Wigan 25 and the halfway line. So Dirty Fox with the ball now there to Brendan Tulter, Brendan Tulter through the gap, get that ball up there for Dirty Fox. Dirty Fox, can he go all the way? He pushes, pushes that ball out there and he's got the try. Trevor Clark scores the try for his second. That was absolutely marvellous stuff by Featherstone Rovers. Oh, that was one for the copy books. And a few boosts from the Wigan supporters, but that was football at its best. Derek Fox there, that short tap penalty there, that long ball out there to Brendan Tota, Brendan Tota there, went through the gap like a steam engine there, cutting the wing defence to ribbons, who was backing up there on his left-hand side there, Derek Fox, and Derek Fox there, I thought he was going to go all the way, but Andy Goodway coming across there, met the tackle on Derek Fox, but not before he slipped it. A peach of a pass out there to Trevor Clark, and Trevor Clark there took three or four Wigan defenders over the line with him to plant the ball over that wing try line. Derek Fox converting that try as he got the measure. And the Antis missed the post. So the score is Wigan 10, Featherston Rovers 14. So there we are, Bobby Golding restarting this game. Once again, same moment, Derek Fox taking that kick-off. Passes the ball to Ian Smales, runs it in over his old 25-yard area. That's good running once again by Ian Smales, making that 25-yard line. So Chris Burton, once again, that big drive in. 
by the Rovers, second row forward. And Clarity is turned now to drive it in, trying to bring play over the halfway line, but that's good tackling that by number four, Paul Gartland. Round the legs, making the perfect tackle. So Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox, they're looking for runs inside him. Brendan Tolter with the ball. Trying to create the gaps for himself, but Statinger in the way that time. Wing number 10. So Leo Case with the ball now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox now there to Pornell. Pornell looking for runs inside him. Back inside there to Wayne Smells. Wayne Smells there to Chris Bibb, but Chris Bibb there being wrapped up. By O'Donnell that time, O'Donnell watching Bibby, Bibby all the way that time, making the tackle, so Derrick Fox with the ball, Derrick Fox, and they're all on side that time, that little kick throw out, but that's the dangerous kick that by Derrick Fox, David Myers watching that all the way, but there's no way could he stop that from going into touch, and that's good play by Rovers, Chris Burton once again, that big driving, switch in play, Paul Newlove, Ian Smales and Chris Bibb linking, linking well there, so that's good tackling that by Paul Newell of there on David Myers stopping and digging his tracks. Now it's Dennis Betts there going from acting half back trying to reach that his own 25 yard area. Being tackled. Donald with the ball now there to Graham West. And what we can hear in the gantry here is uh, wing supporters shouting, get him on side. <laughs> Referee there penalising Leo Casey. Not allowing Graham West to get up to play the ball. But as I was just saying, there's been one offside in this match and it's fell to Wigan. Featherstone was caught offside about five minutes ago, but uh, I'm sure that Wigan haven't uh, been all that too good at these play the balls. I've seen them offside once or twice, especially in the fact that Featherstone was 25-yard area, but you've got to take the rough with the smooth in this game. And old Donald there being tackled there by Trevor Clark and Ian Smales. Gets up, plays the ball. Now it's Tassiger there going from acting half back, tackle about five yards short at the halfway line. Ian Smells, John Bastian there again, his shoulder into the tackle, making the tackle. Now it's Bobby Golding with the ball there, back inside there to Andy Goodway. Andy Goodway there being wrapped, wrapped up there by Leo Casey, straight in front of us. Still short of the halfway line, Wigan in possession, Graham West with the ball now. Graham West there will want to try to slip the ball out of the tackle. But Chris Burton there watching him all the way, making the tackle. Now it's Golding with the ball now there, trying to get that ball out wide there to Dennis Betts. Dennis Betts having to turn back inside, but once again, that's good Feathers and Rovers tackling. And this must be the last tackle now. So it's Golding with the ball now. Golding there looking for that. Oh, and Ikram Buck there taking that ball. Two or three yards inside that touch, touch, touch line side. So Chris Bibb there being tackled just about on his own 25-yard area. Slow to get up to play the ball. Derek Fox with the ball now. There to Terry Manning. Terry Manning there running it out. Gets that ball there to Ikram Buck. Ikram Buck now there to Owen Simpson. Owen Simpson looking for gaps outside, but... His opposite number there, number two, David Myers, makes the tackle. Now it's Ikram Butt, he'll run it in with Ikram Butt, but David Myers once again makes the tackle. Gets up, plays the ball, Ian Smells now for Axiomart out there to Derrick Fox, Derrick Fox now there to Brendan Tolter, Brendan Tolter there, oh, this could be a mistake, oh, and Terry Manning there, quick to get that ball back. Dennis Betts there, ready to pounce on that ball there like a panther, but Terry Manning getting back to that ball quickly, so Derrick Fox, that big boot downfield, yet again by Derrick Fox. Looking for this touch line side and Kevin Hyde all there laying the ball run. Oh, what a marvellous kick once again by Derek Fox. Well, Bobby Golding did it in the first five minutes of the match. And Derek Fox, he come to pinpointed it better just short of the touch. That corner flag there in the corner. And Kevin Hyde all there letting that ball bounce into touch. Bobby Golding feeds the scrum. Trying to go around Brendan Tota, but Brendan Tota there wrapping him up. So it's Wigan still trailing by 10 points to 14 in this first half of the match. So O'Donnell there trying to reach his own 25 yard area. Just about a minute left for half time. So it's Stassinger with the ball there running from acting half back. That's good play by Stassinger. But John Bastian there watching him all the way, makes the tackle. Now it's Kevin Iro, Kevin Iro. The beast is the call him here at Wigan. And in New Zealand, the rumours has it that uh, he's going to uh, Manly to play for his ex-coach there. Oh, and that's a bad mistake. That must be a knock-on. Oh, referee says play on. But to me, that was a knock-on. David Myers there running with the ball. Well, I don't believe it. Would he crack? And Robin Whitfield said he touched it with his hand. Well, Robin, you'll have to watch this video after because I think he was wrong that in, on that occasion. 
If Feather Slow was done play advantage, Wigan knocked that ball on, but there again, referees in charge. Bobby Golding with the ball now there. To number 12, for sure there, getting that ball back there to Stasinger. Stasinger there, getting that ball. And Graham West knocking that ball on this time. Have you get that one, Robin? Yes, he's seen that one. So that'll be a scrum down, just short of that Featherstone Rovers 25-yard line. Well, about 10 yards short. It's Derek Fox to feed the scrum. So Featherstone Rovers getting that ball. Terry Manning with the ball now. Terry Manning trying to make an extra man now there for Porniola. Porniola running outside. Getting that ball up now for Ian Smales. Ian Smales there. Trying to pass that ball back, but Ian Smales getting back for his own pass. There was no way with that pass on that time. Ian Smales did well there to get that for that ball. So it's Owen Simpson now with the ball. Owen Simpson there trying to look for the gaps. But Stasinger there makes the tackle. Now a Terry Man in there going for Martin Arpak. He saw the gap. Getting that ball back inside that there for Owen Simpson. Owen Simpson there floated through the gap. Oh, and Owen Simpson there. Tony Ido there just clipped his ankles. Kevin Ido, I should say. Oh, and Kevin Ido there slow to get back. He looked offside that time. Getting that ball there to Owen Simpson. That was a good pass there to Owen Simpson. There was no way was that ball forward at all. And that wing play shouting forward. But we're behind the gantry. That ball went back. So Pornola with the ball now, Pornola there trying to turn back inside, getting that ball to John Bastian there, to Chris Burton, Chris Burton there, to Dre Fox, Dre Fox now there, to Brendan Tolton, Brendan Tolton now to Leo Case, Leo Case there, looking for the gaps in between there, but Wigan getting that ball, getting that possession, and there goes the half-time score from Central Park, two tries to Kevin Iro, a conversion there to Sean Tyre, Wigan 10, in reply, Chris Bibb try, two tries to Trevor Clark, and a deep fix goal, Featherston Rovers 14. Wigan 10, Featherston Rovers 14, with plenty more to come in the second half. Welcome back for this Stones Bitter Championship Premier Top eight division match between Wigan and Featherston Rovers, the half-time score being Wigan 10, Featherston Rovers 14. And still all to play for, are we going to see an upset here this afternoon at uh, Central Park? Read one or two papers this morning, they're all tipping uh, Wigan to go through, and rightly so, they finished the top, Featherston Rovers finishing eighth. Featherston Rovers all as slow to get going in the game. I'm sure Peter Fox will uh, have had a few words to say about that at half-time. Oh, Derek Fox is looking at the pitch, playing from left to right, ready to kick off. I must say uh, this about the Central Park pitch, to say they are uh, a multi-million pound team. Uh, Featherstone Rovers pitch is, is about, uh, I won't say 100% better, but it's 99% better than the Wigan pitch. Because looking down it, it's in terrible condition down there in the middle of the pit field. And this like I've just set for a multi-million pound team. Anyway, get, getting back to the play now, Wigan the in possession of the ball the old case there making the tackle there on Sean tied it so it's Andy Goodway there trying to run it out brings play just over his own 25 yard area Ian Smales there and Brendan Tote making the tackle so Dennis Betts there first man in trying to take it in being tackled halfway between his own 25 yard line and halfway line Bobby Golden with the ball now there trying to get this ball away out across the line, but that's cut Featherston Rovers tackling. Second half of the of this match here at Central Park. So Bobby Golding there, that big kick downfield. Nick and Buck there taking that ball first bounce. He'll try to reach the halfway line. That's good play that by Nick and Buck taking that awkward bouncing ball. And Ian Gildard there making the tackle and Kevin Nardo. Now it's Derek Fox there looking for runners outside him. Nobody there wanted to take the ball up. So Derek Fox having to go solo that time, so it's Trevor Clark now there to Leo Casey, Leo Casey there. Trying to move mountains there, number 12, Mike Forshaw, stood his ground, but it, Leo Casey there took him a good 10 yard with the ball, so Ian Smales back inside there, and Chris Burton took that ball well. But Graham West there making the tackle, so it's Ian Smales now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox now there to Clarity, Clarity there taking this. These Wigan forwards on, being tackled just short of that Wigan 25 yard line. Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Brendan Tota, Brendan Tota, drop goal attempt, well I'm sure that uh, Peter Fox will have a, a few words to say about that. I don't think that's your job Brendan to do things like that, but there again he had a goal. Wing possession. That's the first tackle, Leo Casey making the tackle. Graham West with the ball now, Graham West there trying to move in, smells out of the way, in smells there making the tackle, helped out there by Chris Burke coming over top. 
That's good running by the, the ex New Zealand international. Ooh, and Trevor Clark there just tackling there. Mike Forshaw, the last ditch tackle. Now it's Andy Goodway with the ball there. Andy Goodway coming back inside there to Sassinger. Oh, and that's a bad mistake. That's a knock on. Wigan that time, trying to come down the middle there. O'Donnell goaling. All trying to combine there with that passing movement there, but always there getting back, making the, the tackle. And the ball going to ground. So did it, Fox, feeding the scrum. The ball's out there to Featherstone Rovers. Ian Smell swapping positions with Paul Newell in the second half there. Going to stand off half. So Terry Manning there trying to push Tatters out of the way. But Graham West there getting across out of the pack quickly. Making the tackle there on Terry Manning. So John Bastian tried to meet up the halfway line. But once again, Graham West there. That's cut tackling by Graham West. Ian Smells there, just couldn't get that ball up there for Terry Manning. LC will throw the gap, so Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now there to Trevor Clark, back inside there to Pornio Love. Pornio getting that ball back inside there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells there, looking for the gaps in this defence. Sees a gap, Ian Smells going. Getting that ball there for Brendan Tolter. Brendan Tolter there, taking Sean Tyler on. Getting that ball there for Clarieti. Clarieti there, running back inside. That's good play by Rovers, backing up. Ian Smells, Brendan Tolter, Clarieti. Clarity plays the ball there to Trevor Clark. Trevor Clark now there to Derry Fox. Derry Fox there to Ian Smells there to Derry Fox. Derry Fox there to Leo Casey. Leo Casey there now to Terry Manny. Terry Manny there going to score to Trevor. There's the Rovers in the corner. Oh, that was magic stuff that by Featherston Rovers. And the build up to that try coming in the from the halfway line there. Ian Smells there changing directions, passing it to Brendan Tolter. Brendan Tolton in return, giving it to Clarity. Clarity being tackled on that far side. That quick play, the ball there to Trevor Clark, to Derek Fox, to Leo Casey. Leo Casey through the gap and a beautiful pass there to Terry Manning and Terry Manning there showed a clean pair of heels to plant that ball halfway between the Wigan posts and the corner flag there to register Featherston Rovers fourth try of the match. Featherston Rovers 18, Wigan 10 with his conversion from Derek Fox to come. So here we go, Derek Fox. Just about on that wing 25 yard line. Strikes the ball. Has he got the angle? Straight behind the camera. Yes, we've got the angle there. We've got the goal. Derek Fox there. Two points, Featherston Rovers. Two points for Derek Fox. Wigan 10, Featherston Rovers 20. So Peter Fox having to make a substitution, Brendan Tolter going off for overs. In fact, Featherstone Rovers making two substitutions, Andy Fisher going off. Andy Fisher going on and Tim Sharp going on, Brendan Tolter going off and I just can't see Chris Bibb has to go off. So Derek Fox with the ball now there to Terry Manning, Terry Manning getting that ball up there for Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark there now to, to Clarity, Clarity turning back inside. Tackle just short of the halfway line. Trevor Clark had to now back now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox now there to John Bastian. John Bastian there trying to get met gaps in this defence. But number 12 there, Mike Forshaw just making the tackle on the big fella. Brings him down just about on the halfway line. Graham West helping out also. So Leo Casey with the ball now. Leo Casey there spotting them gaps. And Gus O'Donnell there. Hanging on to Leo Casey if his life depends on him, making the tackle. Now it's Terry Manning with the ball. Terry Manning back inside there to Derek Fox. That's good play that by Terry Manning. Good backing up by Derek Fox. I'm just just mention them two inches in a minute. So Ian Smells there with the ball. Ian Smells putting stone on that ball. Ian Smells there. Crazy man on side. Oh, and that's a bad awkward bounce. Oh, and that will look at that for Andy Goodway. Oh, and Andy Goodway losing the ball in the tackle. It's all on. But the Smalls after that ball running dead. And that'll be a drop out for Wigan underneath their own post, having to kick that ball. Touching goal, getting back now to them substitutions. Brenda Toto were telling me uh, yesterday that he, he just twinged his kneecap in training. He said he'd be all right for today's match, but obviously just feeling a feeling little bit. So Peter Fox rightly so bringing him off. And Chris Bibb there, that people didn't know, might not have noticed it on the video, but he did catch a, a bad knee in the back by O'Donnell in that first half. So he's feeling the effects of that. 
So Terry Manning there getting that ball there, just short of that wing, 25 yard line. Derek Fox there with the ball now. Derek Fox now there to John Bastian. John Bastian there, loving that ball there. So big Kevin Iro picks it up. Kevin Iro running it out, but Chris Burton there coming across. But if you push tacklers off like that, you expect to get hammered. It's all right pushing tacklers out of air like that, like Kevin Iro did. A lot of Featherstone Rovers tacklers there wanted to make the tackle. So if you, if you push tacklers off, you've got to expect to beat by every member of the opposing team. The wing fans didn't like it. So it's Bobby Golden with the ball now. Bobby Golden there trying to get that ball out there to Stasinger, but that's good tackling that. Andy Fisher in straight away making the tackle. Now it's Bobby Golden with the ball now there. And number 12 there, Mark Forshaw. Being tackled about 10 yards short of the halfway line now. Bobby Golding now looking for this near touch line side. Kicks the ball down deep. And Tim Sharp there letting that ball roll. Picks that ball up. Just short of his own try line. He'll run it out will Tim Sharp. First touch of the ball for the Rovers number 14. Gets up, plays the ball. Ikram but now going from acting half back. Referee says play on. Ikram but there just tackled short of his own 25 yard line. So it's Chris Burton there. Running it out from that Clarity pass. But once again, red and white shirts in the way that time. Number four there, Paul Gartland making the tackle. Ooh, and that looked a bit hard, did that? Referee saying chest. But I'm sure if that had been a Feathers from Rovers tackle on a wing player, then you could have heard the crowd from that. So did it, Fox here, that big boat downfield. And Sean Tyler there coming to collect that ball inside his own 25 yard area, trying to get round, but did it, Fox there, quick. Quick to move up from his own kick. Makes the tackle on the young fullback. So O'Donnell with the ball now. O'Donnell there and Derek Fox pinching that ball there. And Ikram but there trying to get that ball and referee. He's on. Causing the knock on. <laughs> referee just stopping the clock for a minute. And we can make another substitution. Steve Blakely coming on. So both teams got the substitutions on. So Gold in there getting that ball out there. To Steve Blakely, Steve Blakely there trying to sidestep his throw the defence. First touch of the ball, Andy Fisher there making the tackle. Now it's Dennis Betts with the ball there taking this Rovers defence on. But Clarity there and Andy Fisher there making the tackle on the wing number 15. Plays the ball back. Oh, Donald there going from acting our pack. Saw the gap, but big John Bastian there wrapping their arms around him. And Leo Casey, now you're here, the Wigan Raw. Trailing by 10 points. So it's going with the ball now there to Graham West, there to Kevin Iro. But Kevin Iro being wrapped up there by Terry Manning. So Bobby Golden with the ball now there to Blakely. Blakely there turning round with this ball. Looks a tricky customer, but losing the ball in the tackle. So Andy Fisher getting that ball out now, that wide did. Now to Ian Smales, Ian Smales back inside there to Paul Newell, and Paul Newell turning back inside. Paul Newell and through the gap, Paul Newell up there going towards his wingman. Paul Newell is still going. Paul Newell gets the ball out there now to Ian Smales, Ian Smales coming back inside. And Ian Smales there. Being pushed into touch by about seven Wigan players. So the scrums formed about 15 yards inside that Wigan half the field. Bobby Golden with the ball now there to Blakely, there to Kevin Iro, Kevin Iro there to Blakely with the ball. But Paul Newell of watching his man all the way that time, followed him across the line, makes the tackle. So it's that's Ian Gillard with the ball there being tackled by Ian Smells just short of the halfway line. So it's Paul Gartland with the ball, quick there to pick that ball up from acting half back. That's good play by the Wigan number four. So it's all done with the ball now there to Golding, Golding there to Blakely to Golding, Golding there now to Dennis Betts. But Derek Fox there spotting that movement. Followed Dennis Betts all across the line, making that tackle. The perfect tackle by the legs. That's the only way to tackle in this game of rugby league. Going oh, Graham West with the ball now there to Bobby Golding. Bobby Golding have to go solo. Bobby Golding trying to get that ball out there. And that must have been a forward pass. Oh, and that's number two there, David Myers. But surely it must have been a forward pass here in that build-up to the try. Forward and 
Maguire. Well, I thought the referee was just waiting for advantage there, Mr Whitfield, but I'm afraid that he just let a blatant forward pass go. And Wigan there, David Meyer scored the try in the corner. Wigan 14, Feathers and Rovers 20. So here we go, Sean Tad and he's trying to put two more points on the ball. That, that ball just slipping by the post, so it's still Wigan 14. Feathers and Rovers 20. So we did it, Fox, restarting the game. Oh, has he seen that, Mr. Whitfield? He's seen that. Blatant knock on. Oh, and he killed that. Look at the referees if he's done nothing wrong. And that was a clearly knock on over the line. Just look at the referees, number 11 there, Ian Gildard, to say he didn't knock on. Unbelievable. But getting back to that build up to that try, good movement by Wigan, but surely. A knock on there in the build up to that try. And referee, I thought he was just waiting for advantage Feathers over to get back to that ball. Allow play to go on. Still, the points are on the board. It's Wigan 14, Feathers Rovers 20. So Feathers Rovers, even though they're leaning by six points, still got it all to win this second half. So it's John Bastian getting that pass there. For Awfully OK, seeing Trevor Clark there saying, get out wide, I'll go to acting half at this time. That's Trevor Clark's best position there, floating this ball about there to here. Derek Fox there, to Wayne Smales back there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there, trying to go beneath three would-be wing tacklers. Dennis Betts there above, making the tackling. Stazinger on below there, making the tackle. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Leo Casey. Leo Casey changing direction, Leo Casey there. Are we going to see one of them specials from Leo Casey? But no, we can watching him all the way that time. Gets up, plays the ball. So Ian Smales with the ball, Ian Smales here after that ball, scores the try! That's marvellous play, that by Ian Smales. Spotted the gap in the wing defence, kicked the ball on. Two or three Wigan players rounding there, trying to make the tackle on Ian Smales, and he had the sense there just to shuttle three and beat everybody there to put his hands on that loose ball over that in-goal area in that Wigan try line area to put that ball over the try line. Wigan 14, Feathers and Rovers 24. Well, that was absolutely marvellous thinking that by Ian Smales, the Rovers centre playing stand off in the second half. Switch position with Paul Newell. There we are, Derek Fox. Straight between the middle. Wigan 14. Oh, and he's missed the goal. Sorry, he's missed the goal. Wigan 14. Feathers Rovers 24. So we can get in this game started. Andy Fisher taking that ball deep inside his own 25 yard area. Ingill lad making the tackle. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now. There to John Bastian. John Bastian, he's had a fine game this afternoon running that ball in. First man is with Chris Burton there running the ball and also from first man. But Dennis Betts there making the tackle and Graham West. Now, once again, Chris Burton there, his turn to run it in. The tackle between his own 25 yard line there and the halfway line. Trevor Clark with the ball now. There to Leo Casey. Leo Casey there. Trying to slip the ball, which he does there, gets that ball up there now. To Clarieti, Clarieti there to Andy Fisher, Andy Fisher knocking that ball on. So Rovers there making mistakes inside their own half of the field, with Bobby Golden to feed the scrum. Wigan 14, Featherston Rovers 24 at this point of the match. Getting that ball out there, Blakely with the ball out there to Kevin Iroh, Kevin Iroh there. But Kevin Iroh there, watch that time. Ian Smales, Ikram Butts, Clarieta getting out of the pack quickly, making the tackle. And now it's Mike Preston running it in. Once again, Ian Smales, Andy Fisher making the tackle. Now it's O'Donnell with the ball out there to Stazinger, Stazinger there taking Chris Burton on. Chris Burton there and 
John Bastian there wrapping the big arms around him, makes the tackle just about on that Rovers 25 yard line. Now it's Ingle in lad with the ball now, there to Golding, Golding there now to Andy Goodway, Andy Goodway there trying to get rid of that ball in the tackle, but that's good tackling by Rovers. Paul Newell of Dirty Fox watching that moment all the way. So it's Golding with the ball there, that little dummy. Bobby Golding there looking for these, these gaps in this defence. Trying to pivot on one leg, pivot on another, but no gaps all that Rovers defence just run round in circles that time. Big John Bastian there, Leo Casey making the tackle. So it's O'Donnell, oh, and O'Donnell, that ball miles too high that time. Going dead, so will that be a 25 yard. Oh, and the referee, the referee there, the judge just said that Feathers from Rovers play it, handle the ball there to kick it dead. So it'll be a Rovers drop out and on their own post, Derek Fox. Kick that ball straight forward. Sean Tyler there picking that ball up. And out to one tackle. Sean Tyler there running it in. Still going, Sean Tyler. Sean Tyler still going. That's good running that by Sean Tyler. Leo Casey there making the tackle. So Stazinger with the ball now. Really putting pressure on this Rovers defence this time. Rovers still leading by 14 points to 24. So Graham West with the ball now, Graham West running team, big run that by Graham West. Oh, that's a marvellous run that by Graham West. Sisson coach here at Wigan, now it's Golding with the ball now there to Blakely, back to Golding, Golding now there to Andy Goodway. Oh, Andy Goodway there, no one losing the ball there, in that build up there for that running. Being tackled just short. Now it's Dennis Betts going for that try line. Dennis Betts there, tackled inches short. Wigan really putting pressure on this Feathers from Rovers try line. O'Donnell with the ball now there to Golding. Golding there looking for that try. And Owen Simpson getting that ball there. That's good play, that by Owen Simpson. Smothered that little kick through there before Mike Preston got to the ball. Good play by Owen Simpson there, saving his try line. So once again, pressure on this Rovers defence. It'll be Dirty Fox to drop kick this ball out. So here we go, Derek Fox, big drop kick underneath his own post. And Andy Goodway here, taking his time to get to this ball, picks it up. Running it in, Akron Buck there, getting across to make the tackle. And Terry Manning also helping out, so good job he didn't tap that ball there to Gartland with the ball there, but Akron Buck there making the tackle, so it's O'Donnell with the ball now there to Graham West, Graham West taking this defence on. That's the third tackle, we're inside this row, was 25 yard area. Stazinger now from acting up out there to Golding, Golding there, changing direction, but that's good tackling, that's... Ian Smales making the tackle, following that ball across all the time. So it's Ian Gildard with the ball, Rovers sticking to the task. The wing supporters are giving the own team the bird this time, now what can Golding do, Golding that little kick on. But that ball there, bank beating everybody this time. And this time the ball will come to the Rovers 25-yard line for Feathers Rovers, a 25-yard tap. That's good defending by Rovers. They've had to withstand about 17 or 18 tackles there on their own try line. They've stood the task well. Can they bring the ball away? So it's Leo Casey with the... Ooh, Leo Casey just couldn't get that ball up there for Trevor Clark that time. That would have been a pitch of a pass that time. Oh, and the crowd's gone quiet here at Central Park. Knowing there's an upset on the cards here. Rovers really sticking to the task. They're still in with a shout at this Premiership final. Now it's Ikram Butt, Ikram Butt there, rounding his men. Ikram Butt taking Mike Preston on. That's good tack, playing that by Ikram Butt. That's a good 30 yard break by the Rovers wingman. Now Derek Fox with the ball now. There to Ian Smales, back there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there looking for gaps in this defence. But we've been play up from the Rovers 25 yard line. Now we're on the wing 25 yard line. Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Tim Sharp there to Leo Casey. Leo Casey there. Leo Casey to Tim Sharp. Tim Sharp there. Oh, Chris Burton's going in for a try. Oh, Chris Burton will save that. And once again, that man there, Leo Casey. Ian Smales did the run around there with Derek Fox. Derek Fox there, passed that ball there to Leo Casey. Leo Casey there to Tim Sharp and Tim Sharp there and Chris Burton on his shoulder. Planting the ball between the posts, Wigan 14, Feathers and Rovers 28. So here we are now then, Derek. Can he kick this one? 
He has done straight between the middle of that time. Big cheer from the Rovers supporters. Wigan 14, Featherston Rovers 30. Well, Chris Burton, I will say this about Chris, he watches all the videos at the Rovers on a Thursday night. I'm sure he'll want to see that. That video. Scoring a try underneath the post. Here at Wigan, Andy Fisher there. Oh, Andy Fisher nearly through the gap. Hold on, they're finally making the tackle. So it's Ikram Butt now there to John Bastian. John Bastian there. Trying to reach the halfway line, but tackle about 15 yards short. So Wickram but now from acting half back now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox looking for runners inside him, outside him. So Chris Burke with the ball. Ooh, just couldn't get rid of that ball there to Claddy Claddy Eaty now from acting half back. He'll take it in, Will Claddy. He'll run it in. Gets that ball back inside there to Tim Sharp. Tim Sharp there looking for gaps in this wing defence. Gets that ball up there for Trevor Clark. That's good backing up by Trevor Clark. Back inside there to Andy Fisher. Andy Fisher looking for runners outside him there to Pornhill. Pornhill up there taking this man on. To Owen Sims, no, Owen Sims is getting back inside, but that's good tackling that by David Myers. But once again, good football by Feathers Rovers. And that ball there coming across the line. Referee says play on, Clark eating in that one hand pass there to Trevor Clark, but that ball rolling there now to Terry Manning, Terry Manning putting back inside. Terry Manning going towards them post, Terry Manning taking this defence on, still going. Oh, just could get that ball up for Trevor Clark. Trevor Clark there wanting his hat trick here at Central Park. And Terry Manning there being pushed down before he could have played the ball. Where were the referee that time? So Derek Fox with the ball. Derek Fox left hand. Oh, that's one for the copybooks. Derek Fox there, left footed. If I, he said, if I can't I could kick him with my right foot from a placing kick, I'll kick him left footed, dropping him. And he has done that. Wigan 14, Featherston Rovers 31. So once again, Bobby Golding getting the game underway and Derek Fox taking that ball. Andy Fisher there trying to take it in, but being tackled by Stazinger there. So it's John Bastian once again. What a workhorse he's been in this match, John Bastian. Being tackled between his own 25-yard line, the half line. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Chris Burton. Chris Burton trying to make the halfway line. But Ian Gildard making the tackle, so it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox now there to Ian Smells, Ian Smells getting that ball back up there for Leo Casey, Leo Casey there now to Porniola, Porniola getting out of two tackles, Porniola still going, looking for gaps in this defence, taking this Wigan set on, but this time Wigan, Graham West, whole campaign of this game, I believe, Derek Fox now turning Wigan round, making them kicks downfield, and Sean Tyler there taking the ball, and it's all on Derek Fox there, quick to follow his own kick up, and Sean Tyler there tapping the ball to himself, rightly so, no marker. But Clary Eater there spotting that moment all the way and John Bastian there making tackle on the wig number one. So it's O'Donnell now from acting half back there. Trying to get four short on the run, but Stazinger, I should say, number 10. But tackle just about five yards short of the halfway line still. Wigan 14, Featherston Rovers 31. Now it's Graham West with the ball. Graham West being held up in the tackle, just about on that halfway line, Leo Casey and Trevor Clark. So Dole Donald there looking for that far touch line side, kicking the ball there for, for touch, finds touch. About 10 yards inside that Featherston Rovers, 25 yard area. And Featherston Rovers making, a, making another substitution, Terry Manning having to come off. And Chris Bibb having to go on, I think Chris Bibb will play on the wing. So Featherston Rovers... Uh, if they do win this match, which, uh, which they are in the driving seat, it could be a costly win for them. Chris Bibb, Terry Manning, Brendan Toter, all receiving injuries, but at least they've got a fortnight to get over them before the semi-finals of this Premiership. So, Clary 18 now with the ball inside his own 25-yard line, getting out of Kevin Iroh's tackle. But Kevin Iroh there, getting across, making the tackle. So, Ikram Butt with the ball now, Ikram Butt. Bouncing out of three tackles, it like a Kelly's Ikram Butt, he never knows when he's tackled. So Clary 80 with the ball. Oh, Derek Fox took that ball. Well, Augusta Wynn took that ball away from him. So it's Leo Casey with the ball. Oh, Leo Casey there. Pass that ball there, round the man. So it's Pornola out of tackles. Pornola on a run. 
Pony all over there, but Andy Goodway wrapping him up. Just short of the halfway line. So Ian Smells with the ball now. Ian Smells taking this defence on. Tackle just short of the halfway line. So Trevor Clark from acting out back now there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox there. Changing directions, kicking the ball. Sean Tardy there. I think he'll let that ball go dead. Yes, he does. Rightly so. So it'll be a, a tap for Wigan on their own 25 yard eight. It's up to Verovers to get to get organised, get regrouped. So O'Donnell there. Nobody to pass the ball to, running it in. But Trevor Clark there and John Bastian in smells making the tackle. And in smells there, caught offside. That acting half back position. So Bobby Golding quick to take the penalty. Kicks it into touch. Referee stopping the clock. Substitute coming on. Number 12, Mark Forshaw going on. Dennis Betts coming off. I'm sure John Morney won't want to risk Dennis Betts anymore in this match. Wigan ne uh, Wembley next week against St. Helens. What a final that should be anyway. It's Bobby Golding back inside there. Wigan still trying to throw this ball about. Well, that's good tackling that. So it's Andy Goodway with the ball now. Andy Goodway running it in, getting that ball up there. Number 12 there, Mike Forshaw, feeling that John Bastian tackle. So it's O'Donnell with the ball now, running it in from acting half-back. Well, Chris Burton there and Claddy Eaty watching him all the way, wrapping him up. Now it's Golding with the ball now there to Blakely. Back to Golding, Golding there working the one, old one too, but that's good tackling by Rovers. Andy Fisher watching that moment all the way there on Andy Goodway. Now it's Tyra there, that's an high one. Tim Sharp there, taking that ball. Just says to Derek Fox, I'll take it Derek, and he took it rightly so. Never took his eye off the ball, Tim Sharp there. Oh, and that ball to anybody, no man's land. Who's going to pick that ball up? John Bastian. Now then, can he make it out of his own 20, out of his own in goal area? He does so. Oh, that was a bit uh, bad mistake back by Rovers, and Ian Smells having to bring that ball out. Now then forwards, where are you now? So oh, it's Leo Casey there trying to bring that ball on. Leo Casey trying to bring that ball out. But that's a knock-on. That'll come back for a knock-on by Leo Casey. <laughs> Referee penalising Rovers there for Mouthing. Short tap for Wigan. Been going for Pauls. Oh! And he couldn't book that time. Just couldn't take that ball cleanly. So that's back to one again. So David Myers there, running it in from acting half-back. Pressure on this Feathers from Rovers defence now. O'Donnell with the ball now there to Stassinger. Stassinger there, changing direction, trying to make headway towards that Feathers from Rovers try line. So it's O'Donnell now there to Golding. Golding now there to Gildard. Back to Golding. Golding back inside now to Andy Goodway. Andy Goodway there, no way to run. Gives that ball back to inside now to Blakely. Blakely there going for the try line. And Blakely scores the try. He's looked dangerous every time he's got the ball, this number 14 for Wigan. And he scores the try at the side of the pole, Wigan 18, Feathers Rovers 31. So here we go. Sean Tardy there. Strikes the ball between the middle. Wigan 20, Feathers Rovers 31 with about five minutes left. So once again, Derek Fox restarting this game. Bobby Golden taking that ball, gives it to Ian Gildard. He'll try to reach his own 25-yard line. But Trevor Clark there, half stopping him. John Bastian just making sure. So there's a lot in the for the future to look for. Wings number 14 there. Blakely. Looks like a good promising youngster. This is Steve Blakely. Still back to the play now. Wigan there had that ball. Snap from the grasp. Referee says back to one. Oh, and that's back tackling by Rovers. Number two there, David Myers. Featherstone Rovers don't want to let this slip now in this, in this stage of the game. 
Oh, and that's a bad mistake that time. Clarieti picking that loose ball up for Rovers. Rovers just wants to steady things down a bit now. Six tackles to go, so Leo Casey they running that ball in. Being tackled halfway between the halfway line and the Wigan 25-yard line. Slowly up to play the ball in. Smells acting up at now there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox there to Chris Burton. Chris Burton there will run it in. Chris Burton plays the ball quickly to Clarieti. Clarieti taking these wing defenders on with him. Brings play up to that inside that wing 25-yard line. So it's Tim Shout with the ball now. Tim Shout there looking for runs there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells there taking this defence on. Oh, couldn't get that ball up. Well, that's a knock on. Oh, referee says play on. Ian Smells there trying to slip that ball around the player. Well, the Wigan man got in front of the, the man in the ball. Wigan possession. So it's Andy Goodway gets up, plays the ball. Stasig with the ball now trying to reach the halfway line. Hard work in number 10, but he hasn't got the ball skills of uh, Leo Casey. So it's Forshaw with the ball there, but uh, Andy Fisher there wrapping him up. Ten yard inside this swig now for the field. So it's Andy Goodway with the ball, and once again Andy Fisher watching that moment all the way. Stazzy there being tackled just short of the halfway line. O'Donnell with the ball now there to Bobby Golden. Bobby Golden there looking for this touchline side. And Chris Bibb there playing, playing it all, playing it on, touching that ball inside his own 25 yard area. Trying to run the ball out, gets out to one tackle. But Chris Bibb having to come back off to, onto the pitch injury because Terry Manning had gone off with a back injury. So it's Leo Casey there, he'll take the ball up. Being tackled there by Gartland, the wing number four. Chris Burton's turn to drive it in. Ooh, just couldn't get that ball up there for Icarim, but... So Trevor Clark now from acting out back now there to Clarieti, Clarieti trying to get that ball back there to Trevor Clark, but that's a knock-on. Oh, the referee says play on, but that another mistake the referee's made. That was a knock on that by Trevor Clark. So Derek Fox with the ball now there to John Bastian. John Bastian trying to get that ball back inside. Well, that's good. Well, well took that by in Gildad. In Gildad there, dummying with the ball. So it's Gartland with the ball running it in. John Bastian there making the tackle on Paul Gartland, the wing number four. So Andy Goodway now from acting out back now there to Stasiger yet again running it in. So Wigan now pressurising this Featherstone Rovers defence. Number eight there, Graham West with the ball there to O'Donnell, O'Donnell there. Trying to link up with his three quarters but nobody on this side at all. All the Wigan players are on that right hand side of the pitch. We're looking at it now. So it's Blake with the ball now there to Myers. Myers there trying to go through two tacklers. But Rovers still ticking to the task, it's still Wigan 20, Featherson Rovers 31. So it's Blake with the ball now there, that's that good little kick, oh, and that was a, a good ploy that Bobby Golding could, just couldn't take that ball. Good play that by here, uh, Sean Tyrett. Andy Fisher there dropping on that uh, awkward bouncing ball. So Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells there looking for looking for gaps down the middle. So Leo Casey's turn. Just can't get that pass out there to Wickerham, but Bill Nell up in the tackle. So Trevor Clark now there acting up at now to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox, that big book downfield. This is where Feather Snows want to be playing this game in the wicking half of the field. Sean Tyder taking that ball first bounce. Trying to come down the middle. Ian Smells there and Andy Fisher making the tackle. So it's Forshaw with the ball now, but Ian Smells there involved with the tackle yet again. Not through a tremendous amount of tackling as Ian Smells in this match. So Wigan in possession just about on the halfway line. Golding with the ball now. Golding there looking for Andy Goodway through the gap to, to Golding. Golding now there to. Number four there, Paul Gartland, but Paul Gartland there followed all the way by Derek Fox. Derek Fox below, Chris Burton on top, just about on the halfway line. Wigan still in possession. Oh, and this is a good break. This is a good break by number 12 there, Mike Forshaw there to Stassinger. Oh, and that's a last ditch tackle that. Trevor Clark there saved a try for Featherstone Rovers. So Wigan's got numbers out here, oh, but 
Oh, he's got the ball for Featherston Rovers. Andy Fisher. Pinching that ball there before we can cut plate. To O'Donnell there, going for the try. Points and all good. Another penalty kick to Wigan. Leo Casey pinching the ball in the tackle. Short ta Sean Tyler there taking that penalty about five yards to where the incident happened. Referee says play on. Well, that's unbelievable, that. Yes, that's it, Robin. I should give that try for how we are. We at three goes at it. Unbelievable, that. Sean Tyler just took the tap of the penalty there about five yards where the man was stood. With, where they did give the incident, Robin Whitfield, and he said, play on. Wigan 24, Feathers Rovers 31, with his conversion to come. So Ian Gildart finally scoring that try for Wigan after that three goals, and so here we are, tired of there, trying to convert the try. Straight between the middle, Wigan 26, Feathers Rovers 31. So Featherstone was kicking off, Derek Fox kicking that ball into touch on the full. Unbelievable. So is Wigan going to pinch this and there goes the final OT here at Central Park Wigan. An absolutely fantastic display here by Featherstone Rovers. I keep telling me that Wigan's got so many reserves in, but I wonder if the papers will set a order that Brendan Toot had to go off injured, Chris Bibb injured, Terry Manning injured, I wonder if the papers will say anything about that tomorrow because Featherstone Rovers have come here today wanting to win and they've won by 26 points to 31. We'll go through the try scorers for Wigan. David Myers a try, Kevin Iroh two tries, Ian Gildard a try and Steve Blakely a try and Sean Tyra three goals. In reply, Chris Bibb a try, Terry Manning a try, Ian Smales a try, Trevor Clark two tries and Chris Bibb one to save that for the rest of his career, one try. And Derek Fox, three goals and a drop goal. And the final score here. Final score here from Central Park. Wigan, the mighty Wigan has been tumbled by the gladiators of Featherstone Rovers by 26 points to 31.